All right, guys, it's time for Jeopardy. Um, we're going to play Jeopardy, and it's going to be really similar to the Jeopardy that you played on Tuesday morning if you were in the Zoom call with me. And if you missed it, you can watch this video and play it again. Some of the questions are a little bit different, so um, if you want to play it again, it will be a little bit different. Okay? All right. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is um, workers. And before we go over workers, I want to remind you of the architect. So remember that an architect, um, they design buildings, they draw ideas on grid paper, um, they make floor plans, they design the inside and the layout. Some of the tools that they use are rulers and a protractor, okay? So that might help you with some of the questions that will be coming up. Um, so let me put my Jeopardy board back up here. Okay, are we ready? Okay, so let's start with place value. And I'm gonna show you some tens and ones. And I want you to write down the number at home or I want you to think of the number in your head. Okay, start with this one, it's two tens. What is that? Did you write down 20? Okay. The next one, what's 110? And there's eight ones there. Go ahead, take a minute to write it down. And did you get 18? Okay. And just like in class, I give you a dollar if you get it right. At home, just give yourself one tally mark. That means one dollar. Okay. Next one, what about this one? It has three tens and four ones. Okay, did you write 34? Good. Okay, the next one has four tens and four ones. So remember count 10, 20, 30, 40, and then count by ones. Did you get 44? Okay, good job. If you got all of those right, you should have four points. Okay, now we're gonna to go to workers. And remember that our worker this week was the architect. So we're gonna go ahead and go over a couple questions about the architect. So an architect, when they're drawing their picture, they use a protractor or a ruler as they're drawing. What are those things called? Tools. So um, every person, every worker has different things that they need to do their job. Those are some tools that an architect needs. Um, an architect designs um, something. And what are those things that they make? What are they drawing? Did you say building? Or you could have said structure. Okay. And then when an architect comes up with an idea, when they come up with a drawing on their paper, what are they making? Okay, you could have said design. Maybe you said, oh, they're making a floor plan. Maybe they're drawing an idea. Any of those would work, okay? All right, now we're gonna go to sight words. So I'm going to show you some sight words. And um, I want you to be able to read them super quick. Okay, are you ready? What's this word? Why? Good, these are from the green list. And what's this word? Take. All right, and what about this one? Give. Next one, what's this word? want. Okay, now we're going to do some spelling. And these words have OO in them and EW. Those were the two um, spelling skills that we were focusing on this week. Okay, so I'm going to show you the word. I want you to try to read it. And then I want you to try to think of which spelling um, set is in there. What kind of um, word letter pair is in there? Okay, ready? Loop. Good, and this word has O-O in it. Okay, this is kind of like loop but switched around. What word is this? 
cool. And this one also has OO. Okay. What about this word? New. And remember, this one has EW. Next word? Blue. Like the wind blew. And this one also has EW. Okay? Um, so that's it for all of those categories. The last one is about needs and wants. And I'm going to show you a couple of things um, from the video that I made with Zeus about his possessions. Possessions are things that you own. So I want you to decide if it's one of Zeus's needs, something he has to have, or if it's something that he wants, okay? And for this category, I'm going to bring in a special guest. Are you ready? All right, here he is. Okay, so here's our friend Zeus. And we're going to decide um, which of these possessions are his needs and which are his wants. Okay? So, first of all, Zeus has this little elf Santa hat. Do you think that that's something that Zeus needs or that he wants? Dogs don't really need a hat, right? So this would be a want. Okay, the next one is a little piece of his doggy kibble. So um, is it important to have food? Yes, this is a need. And Zeus agrees, he says, oh yes, I need that. Okay, the next one. This is a basketball jersey that we sometimes put on Zeus. Does Zeus need to wear a basketball jersey? Do his dogs need that? That's a want. Okay, and then finally, the last thing is, this is a chewy bum, and it helps to keep his teeth clean. Is it important to take care of your teeth and of your body? Yes, so this is a need, this is important for Zeus. So I'm gonna give it to him, he's gonna go take it and chew it, and um, I'll see you later.